Hello, it's Darren from Investor Income. Welcome to the channel. So I'm just going to readjust the screen a bit here. Uh, we are looking at three minute uh, time frame and we are looking also at no drawdown for its strategies or trading uh, with no drawdown. Uh, just before we go any further, um, do you think all the banks in the world trade with no drawdown? That's the question you need to be asking. I would hesitate uh, on a logic basis that they do have drawdown. Um, because do you think it's possible to pick any point you can pick on short spikes on options things like that short time frames um, you can pick very accurate entries however you're not going to run forex trades uh, with no drawdown the banks would just have that whole thing nailed down wouldn't they so do you think us as retail traders can actually ever hope to get that accurate uh, it's a bit of a dream and uh, there'll be some forex guru uh, i can't stand the word guru but there's, there'll be some gurus out there recommending their strategies to you and they're going to sell you and then they're going to take to the hills and say you're not trading it correctly uh just because they're saying it's a no drawdown forex strategy and everyone what course why wouldn't you want to have a no drawdown forex strategy no nonsense isn't it it's just like of course everyone would want that anyway let's have a look i'm just going to pick any random pair okay and then we are going to look to trade that pair okay so i'm just going to scroll down and pick any crap pair uh i don't know where we got well this is one i just clicked on something what's this one? Oh no i don't want this pound dollar right do something we don't normally do nzd swiss franc it's a classic pair right let's just scroll back i'm just going to scroll back randomly any random time Okay, and we're going to just trade this sucker. I don't even know what the date is down the bottom. Right, what have we got here? Stop it. What date? We, I don't think my uh, I don't think my bars going to go back that far. Actually, let's go back to move an average starts. Here we go. Oh, blimey, I'm in the trade already. Right, so looking at this, we've got deviation away from our moving average. You know the way I trade, hopefully. Um, so I would have taken a trade down here. That's quite obvious. And then I'd take another trade. And I'm even loading up with another trade. Oh, it's a bit unfair because I've already made money. Um, anyway, let's just trade that anyway and see. Um, so we would have spiked up. Hopefully I'd have taken my first position out for a um, break even. I made money on those two. And we come down a bit further. And we would then enter. We've still got a nice bit of deviation away there. So I'll take it down those lows somewhere. Um, and then we oh look at that come back to moving average bingo and we've just made a shed load of money. Um, if that spike I've most likely on that one I've taken my money uh, on that one uh, because basically I'm holding three positions. These are recovery trades for this one. So we would have made uh, 78. I don't even know there's 20 pips on that one and then another yeah nice. Uh, 50 pips on that one, 40, 40 pips, 40 pips on that one. So a nice little profit on that one. And so if we assume that then we've just got this one trade on down the bottom here, uh, well, we've taken that up and lovely jubbly. It's only one trade on. Why not let it run? It came back down, tested the bottom. That's fine. And it comes back to the average. Lovely. Uh, carry on trading. See what else we've got. That's a bit unfair because I'd already seen some of it. So I don't want to, you know, be any BS. Mm, some deviation there. It's up to those high, up to the lows there. You see, uh, it helps when you're zoomed out. You can see all this. Don't go zoomed in. You know, you don't want to be in in like this. You know, looking at the wicks and ah crap, what's going on? You know, just get some on forex. Let's get out. Um, so we could should we take a position there? See, I don't even know where I'll take one. Um, I probably uh, let's just say we take one again. Let's just say we take one and boom and we go higher i wouldn't take one just yet it's not going high enough and here we go spike up there so we'll take another position up there well, let's be fair let's not get the perfect timing um oh there we go so we just made money on both those positions bang we're out okay so that's another uh 80 save down here somewhere 80 down to 50 30 yeah. so we just made say 35 pips on that one lovely jubbly so we're out on that. Um comes back down. Oh, blow it hit the average look, what a surprise. Uh let's go. Oh, we're going down. Let's take we'll take a little position on that one. And we're gonna go down a bit further. And we'll take another position on that one, put it around there. Have I just 
Right, it's this one's coming to the screen, doesn't it? Take mine off. There we go. And here we go. So we've already made money on both of them. I would come out there and we've just made yet another 28, uh, say another 30 pips, 40 pips. So I would come out of those. And then we, we'll go back to the average one, I suppose. Um, just carry on. Now it's come down again, down those lows. I wouldn't take that. I don't know. It's not far enough for me. Um, there we go. Bingo. We're going in again down here somewhere, so we're in on another trade. Oh, Pat <laughs> just made just made another 59, um, yeah, another 40 bips. Lovely, and we carry on. Deviations going nice. This uh, nice one. Let's just take a quick one up there. Oh, lovely. Right here we go. We got. Uh, let's say we take around those highs. I'll take around those highs somewhere. We've got some nice wicks up there. I'll take around there. I'm trying to be fair and not take the absolute, you know, stay up here. Let's be realistic. Uh, oh, lovely. We've gone up higher, up to the highs. Interesting. Double top. Nice bit of deviation. Okay, now this is probably going to be a bit of a long one, I'd say. Um, I was wrong by the looks of it. Come down nicely. And we're just doing nothing now. Around this, look, see what I mean? It's going sideways, it's doing nothing. The moving average is moving up now. We're still away from our, our low here. I would probably close this trade out. Now, whether that's the wise thing, it could come plummeting straight back down. But we're going to take a loss on this one. We take a slight profit on this one overall. So if we come out here, you can see where the line will be. We're still in profit on these two trades, and this one's going to be a strong class 79. Uh, down to there, so we're talking 30 pips on that one, and say another 10 pips on those two trades together. There we go, we just made 40 pips. It would have come down, typical. Anyway, so that's us out for another 30 pips. That is the way I trade. Uh, let's keep going. There we go, up again, lovely. So now we've come up to, again, this is up, so we've clearly got a, a bullish trend. So I'm looking for a little bit more deviation. I wouldn't probably take it here, as you would expect, because it's got, we've done one, two, three touches now. And we're coming hard up again and it's bullish so i want a bit more of deviation i want to break this high for me to be interested i hope you understand why because you could reverse there and come back down we have got a nice bit of deviation but not enough for me so here we go we've broken the highs i'll get in for a trade up there that's why i'm interested so we go up uh, up and up again let's load up and let's take some oh, i've got to take this one off don't i sorry there we go. Um, then we come down. So we could have taken that profit there. That is an option. And how much would that give us? So are we interested in that kind? Of knee? Not really. Um, we come down. There we go. I'll take profit there. Back down to the high. Bingo. We are in ten euro, uh, ten pips on that one. Ten pips and how many on that one? I can't even count. Um, so I'm breathing into the mic. I'm sure not to. Um, 10 pips, I say 35 pips again. Lovely on the NZD Swiss franc, a classic pair. And it comes down to the average, what a surprise. See, I don't necessarily take down to the average. I can do, you could just hold all these trades down to the average, but that's not, you know, I'd rather take the money when the money's there on the table. And I've, my first trade, which was not a perfect entry, the price comes back to that. That's when, but you can see every, virtually every trade apart from one. You've got to accept drawdown so you know it's just you're not going to pick the peak you know if you kick here and you go right i'm going to hit the the levels there you're just going to get cleaned out and people get you know lose faith i'm taking drawdown I'm accepting drawdown but there's logic behind my trading i hope you can see that anyway so not interest obviously down here we're coming back up again and um, we're going up again pretty high let's double top there uh, to be honest about what we would do, would we take this? It's actually uh, contracting quite nicely. Um, I'll probably leave that one to be honest. Um, coming up a bit higher. There we go. Lovely. I'm in on that one for the start. Right. Okay, let's be let's be realistic on that spike. We've got three minutes to get in on spike, but you know this is human get it at the start, whatever. So um, anyway, so we're going up, but deviation. We've got some deviation. You know we should have some price movement back. And here we go again. So we're in again, and this is a bullish market. And are we going to go higher? We are going higher. 
Okay, you can see the way you know because it's a hard uptrend. Okay, these are getting left behind very rapidly, and there we are, we are out. So I'm out down here on this spike, and I've just come out with uh, this one's slight loss, 14, uh, five pips. Let's say five five pips loss on that one, and this one will be 67, 20 pips on that one, say, and then 92 down to. Choose 50 on that one. We're not doing too badly. Lovely jubbly. So we're out again. And then let's just see where she goes. No, no. <laughs> How very strange is compared to the average. Um, okay, whoa, we're coming down now. Still not enough deviation for my liking here. So you know, look at you look at the gap there. We're about around this kind of level. We could take one bit. Nah, getting greedy now. Uh, let's take a look. There we go. We're going down a bit further. So now we're going to go in there, and oh, no, I do like this pair. I'm starting to really like this pair now. And there we go, we're going down. Now, you look, oh, I mean, that is just parabolic off, isn't it? So we take another one down here. And then what's going to happen? What's going to happen? There we go, we're looking, ooh, there we go, we're going to come out. There we go. 91. Up to yeah, 50. I'm getting a bit bored. There's now 50. You can see, let's stop it there. Uh, you can see the strategy. Um, and this is with one line on a chart. Um, however, you will see quite clearly you've got to accept drawdown. No drawdown for its strategy. Good luck with that. I wish you all the best. Trade it this way. Hope you join our group. Got a trading group starting up. Hit the email below. Please like, subscribe. Please help the channel grow. Appreciate all your time. See you later. Darren checking out.